Okay, I'm really excited to show you this development board. This is the Max 78000 Feather Evaluation Kit from Analog Devices. And I told you I'm excited because this tiny development board here not only has a powerful microcontroller, but also an onboard camera and an onboard microphone that helps you to very easily build interesting AI projects like image recognition, voice recognition, etc. without the use of any third party cloud platform or even the internet. Also, if you want to get this development board for free, you can participate in our online design contest IoT and Edge AI project challenge. All you have to do is submit an interesting project idea, get your development board and build something interesting. For the best projects, we are also giving up to 7 lakh in cash price and all of this is possible thanks to our contest sponsor DigiKey. DigiKey is a global leader in cutting-edge commerce distribution of electronic components and automation products worldwide. They provide more than 15.3 million components from over 2,900 manufacturers with products in stock available for immediate shipment. Also, with their fast shipping and excellent customer support, you can always trust that your products will arrive on time and in top condition. So do remember to check out DigiKey for your next project. Let's start by unboxing our development kit over here. Inside you will find the Max 78000 Feather Development Board which we will discuss more in detail. And then you will also get a USB to micro USB programming cable to program our board and some header pins, male header pins which we can use on our development board over here. And you will also get this. A proper pinout sheet which explains how all the various peripherals are connected to our microcontroller and how you can use them. Okay, now let's take a closer look at our development board over here. Like I told earlier, the main microcontroller on this development board is the Max 78000. But apart from that, it also has a VGA camera over here and a digital microphone over here. And then you can also connect external microphone and external speaker very easily using this audio line in and audio line out jack. Starting from the top, you can see that we have a USB port and also an adapter to connect LiPo batteries. And we also have a charging IC here, which is the power management IC Max 20303. So this IC helps you to connect a battery to your development board and develop remote projects very easily. So whenever a battery is connected, you can directly charge with this micro USB port here and power your project with the battery. On the left side, you can see that we have another IC called the Max 32625, which is a DAP IC that is used to program our microcontroller. We will not be getting into depth of it. And then you will also see that we have two RGB LEDs here. One is for power indication and the other is user controlled. And you also have two switches, SW1 and SW2 connected to port 03 and port 17. And you also have a power button over here. If you press this for 12 seconds, your board will switch off. And then you also have two other push buttons here, which is SW4 reset button and the SW5 DAP link button, which can be used for uploading, but we don't need to use it. On the back side, you will notice that we also have a micro SD card comes in very handy for capturing and storing images. And the board is also very compact. The length of the board is just 66 mm and the width is just 23 mm. Moving on, here are some of the most important features of our development board. It has the Max 7H000 microcontroller, image sensor, digital microphone, and it also has Max 9867 audio codec IC. So all the data that is coming from this digital microphone is processed using this audio codec IC, which comes in very handy to easily process your audio data and perform projects like voice recognition. It also has 3.5mm audio jacks, a micro SD card slot and the DAP link interface which makes programming very easy. Over here you can see all the important ICs present on this development board. The Max 7H000 is an ARM Cortex M4 microcontroller with CNN accelerator. CNN stands for Convolution Neural Networks and you can also see how the other ICs are connected to our main microcontroller. For example the Max 9867 
audio codec IC is connected to I2C and I2S. You can also see that the micro USB connector is directly connected to our DAP link interface so that you can easily use it for uh, programming and debugging. And then you also have the power management IC, the MAX20303. The micro SD card communicates with SPI and you can also see that the image sensor here and the digital microphone and the SRAM all are connected with I2C, I2S and the QSPI uh, protocols respectively. So enough with the hardware explanation, let's connect this board to our computer to see how we can program it and build projects very easily. Okay, now we are on our computer over here and what we're going to do is we're going to connect this development board to our laptop and see how the demo code works. So to do that, I'm just going to connect this development board to my laptop over here by just using the micro USB cable that came with the development board. So I'm just connecting it and the LED turns on to indicate that it is powered and you can also notice that on my computer it has discovered something called a DAP link which is this development board. Now how the demo code works is that it has a program called keyword spotting. So what it will do is it will use the onboard microphone here to detect the voice. Uh, I can say numbers from 1 to 10 and it also recognizes go and stop and based on the number I am telling it's going to blink this LED over here that many times. Say for example if I say 4 it will blink the LED 4 times. Now to demonstrate the demo code let me open any serial monitor. I am having Arduino so I am going to open Arduino. So this is my Arduino IDE over here and I will select the right COM port. So in this case it's USB modem 102. So I am going to just select that and then I am going to open the serial monitor and make sure the baud rate is 115200. Now the board is already working and as you can see it's detecting some unknown words. But what I am going to do is I am going to press the reset button over here. Go. Two. Five. One. Three. Two. Four. Stop. Okay, now let's see how to write our own programs for this development board. To get started, let's start with the product page of this development board, Max 78000 Feather Board. And if you scroll all the way down, you will notice something under software development called the Maxim Micros SDK. So Maxim Micros SDK is the development kit provided by Maxim Integrated or Analog Devices to make developing programs for this board very easy. So you can just click on it and follow the simple procedure to install it. Once the installation is done, you will notice two things. On your My Computer, under C drive, you will notice a file called Maxim SDK. So this is the total standard development kit that we have installed. Along with it, you will also notice that Eclipse has been installed on your computer. So to program this development board, launch the Eclipse IDE which I have already done over here and here if you go under file and then new you will notice something called analog devices microcontroller. So if you are going to write your program from scratch you can choose this option but what I would suggest is to try all the example codes that is available for this board. The best thing about this development board is that it has tons of example codes. Let me quickly show you that. So to open an example code go to import and then select existing project into workspace, click on next and go to browse and go to the C drive and this Maxim SDK file which I showed you earlier and over here you can get into examples and then Max 78000 which is the IC over here and as you can see here they have given a lot of example codes which is really good and it helps you to learn how to program this development board much faster and you can see how to use ADC, how to write a simple hello world, how to do image capture, how to use SPA, UART, watchdog timer. So there are a lot of example files available for you over here. What I am very interested in is this file called CNN which stands for Convolution Neural Networks. So let's open that. 
when every example code that you find here by itself is a project. Say for example, it has face yield recognition, it has face ID if I am not wrong, yeah it has face yield detection, it can distinguish between cats and dogs live from the camera over here. So let me show you some of the interesting example codes over here. So uh, to give you a demonstration, let me first open the demo code which we saw earlier in this video. So that demo code is called keyword citing 20 demo. So we will select this folder and we will copy projects into the workspace so that we won't make changes to the original code and then click on finish yes to all so this is the project directory over here whatever example code you open there are four important files which i would suggest you to read the first one would be the readme file here it explains what the code is about, how it works and everything. See in our example code, it was able to recognize these 20 keywords and there are more information on how exactly these keywords were trained, how you can introduce new keywords. So there are a lot of information on this readme file. Apart from that, you would have to look into the make file and the project.mk file, I would suggest you to read through the main.c as well. So the more example codes you look into, the easier it will be for you to understand how to use this development board. Now, before you upload a code, you have to understand that all these example codes are not only written for this particular development board, but also for a few other versions of this development board. So what we have here is the max 7800 feather board. So if you look into the project.make file, you will notice few changes which we have to do and it is the same for every example code. So the first thing you have to do is uncomment the line below to build for max 7800 feather board. So we will uncomment this and then under make file, you will notice that we have to set the target board. It can either be the evolution kit V1 or the feather board. And in this case, it is set as evolution kit V1, which is wrong. So instead, we will change it to the feather revision A because what we have here is the feather board. So that is all the changes you have to do. Now you can click on build. It will ask if you want to save these two files to which we made changes, click on OK. And if everything is working file and if your compiler is working right, if your variables and path, everything has been set right, you will notice that the code compiles without any problem. Okay, so build finished with zero errors and three warnings. Now let's click on launch to upload this code to our board. As you can see, once the uploading process begins, you will see the LED flashing rapidly. Okay, now the code is uploaded, I will press the stop button and then I will go to the putty configuration over here to check the serial data from this board. Earlier I used Arduino IDE but since I am on Windows, I am using putty. I will just open the serial monitor and you can see that uh, there is a slight different variation in this example code but the working is still the same. Uh, I can see numbers between 1 to 10. Three, Two, one, zero. So yeah, the working is pretty much the same. Now, what I want to show to you here is you should go into this Maxim SDK and spend a bit amount of time over here to understand all the example codes. So to show you how everything works, let's try another example with the camera. Okay, now we have opened a new demo project and I'm going to open the same files again. I'm going to open the readme file which tells how this code exactly works. If you can see here, it is going to capture an image via the camera module and it is trained for rock, paper, scissors and gestures. So uh, it's like playing a game with the board. We can play rock, paper, scissors with the computer and another two files which you should check is the make file and the project file and also the main file so it's very easy to convert these example codes into projects all you have to do is turn on a gpio pin based on the results that we find and uh, you can check the example code for gpios to know how to control a gpio pin so you just have to spend more amount of time with the example codes and you will slowly understand how you can use all the features on this board now over here we'll make the same corrections
now we are having a different program being executed on our board over here so what it does is it's asking us to press the sw1 the pb1 button over here uh, to capture the image and it will use the camera to capture the image and detect what it was now to demonstrate this code i'm going to move away like this and to the camera over here i'm going to show rock paper or scissors and press this sw1 button whenever the button is pressed the camera is going to capture this image and check what was shown in front of the camera now let's start with paper and as you can see it's detecting paper with an accuracy of 87.7 percentage now let's change it to rock and as you can see it's detecting that it is rock with an accuracy of 100 percentage so it's not very accurate but it's definitely usable you can tinker around with this code as well to know how you can control gpio pins based on what you're showing show the results on a lcd display or even on leds and build your own projects so that's it for this video i hope i have helped you to get started with this board if yes do consider subscribing to this channel thank you for watching have a good day bye bye